Hello, Sarah. Uh, man. Hello. Hello, Sarah. I have decided to do a little, like, app review of some apps that I like and are Osneek. All of these apps are free, or at least were free at one point. Oh, also, I just got iOS 7, like, this morning, and I think I like it so far. I don't know. It's a lot prettier than the last one. And... I always appreciate prettiness. So the first app that I'm going to be showing to you is a game called Oralux. And let's see if I can find it. Okay, here it is. Uh, things are a bit different with iOS 7, so I'm still kind of getting used to it. Anyways, this is the game. Or pretty much, I am this blue sun, and I can control all these little dots, which are like your surrounding stars. I'm trying to take over all the other suns in my solar system. This is a strategy game. It's a really good game, and if you actually beat it, and once you get used to the easier levels, if you beat like a normal or a hard level, you just feel super amazing. Game number two, I actually don't have in a little folder yet because I just downloaded it recently, and it's called Age of Emperors. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure book, but in, you know, iPad form. The whole story behind it is that your iPad turns into a magical time-traveling device, and then you get to go to different ages, and then you can go back and meet certain historical people during that time, and you're trying to find a certain artifact in order to get back to the present day. So Freebooks is a really cool app. It pretty much includes all of the books in the public domain and it has a lot of cool classic books like Huckleberry Finn and um, Dracula and like all the old classical tales like Cinderella and Snow White and the Three Musketeers and all that stuff. The app, you can download them so you can uh, read the books and everyone. Plus, everything is completely free, so what's not to love? Number four, 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 four. Select two little bunnies. Okay. And it is called iTube. What iTube does is it makes playlists of videos on YouTube. As and you can see this video is now cached, so then I can just view it without needing any Wi-Fi and it's completely free. So it kind of solves my, your need to like go on iTunes and buy song. But yeah, I'm kind of like extremely cheap, so if I can do something for free, why would I pay for it? Even though I totally want to support the artists and I know, it's kind of bad, but I'm Asian, so... Yep. Melodive is the name of the next app I will be showing you, and it is another game, but it isn't just like any game. It is amazing, fantastical, lovely, wonderfulness game. If you're like me, and you've always, I mean like always wanted to fly, like you had dreams about flying, and if you got one wish from a genie or whatever, I would totally wish for flying. I know like world peace and all that. I just really want to fly. Oh my gosh, it'd be so much fun. My point was that pretty much this app is like flying, but not. And I'll just show you what it is. And you're always going to be falling downwards. And if you're ever confused about where down is, just uh, the mushroom things are always pointing up, so that's useful. There are distance records from people who can do this for like hours, and it's just amazing. And I can barely last like five minutes. The controls are pretty hard at first, but once you get used to it, it's a ton of fun. Now this next app is super, super fantastically amazing, and I know I kind of say that about all these apps, but like, it's so true for this one. So this is called 123D Creature, and pretty much it's an app where you can create 3D figurines, and then if you have a 3D printer or something, you can actually print this out. Now this one is something that I actually downloaded from the community, because I'm not talented enough to actually make something like this. I tried making a cat, and it was so ugly. But this is Squirt from Finding Nemo. Isn't this adorable? Like, someone took the time to actually make this, and I'll show you how you do it. I'm going to open up the sculpt. Let's try Grab, because Grab is very dynamic. So, this is how you grab, and now it's so ugly and messed up. And it's gonna haunt your dreams now. Okay, so the last app I have to show you guys is something really amazing. It's something called, um, YouTube. YouTube, but don't worry, I know it sounds really weird, but that's because this app is a gateway to a different dimension. All of these boxes are like windows. Windows into this different world. Everyone in this other world is so much smarter, so much funnier, so much more interesting. 